And now we are back with the interviews, and this time it's the German couple. Welcome, Nelly Chikinshina and Alexander Gatsi. Difficult name. Can you can you say it? How, how do you really say it? Nelly Chikinshina and Alexander Gazi. Oh, beautiful! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you should you should have done the introduction. Uh, Stefan Lampiel is a great skater, of course, and we all love him. And he has made an interesting and very captivating choreography for you for this afternoon, Swan Lake, in a very modern way. Um, how much did you take part in creating it? Actually a lot. Um, first of all, thank you to Mr. Lambier because he's a genius. As a skater, also as choreographer, he's really, really brilliant. And uh, it was it was like a team thing, you know, when you're on the ice and you do a choreography. I think uh, also the skater has to be a part of this because it's the skater in the end of the day who has to skate it. So it was a team thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, I mean, in, in skating world and in ballet world, we have seen very many versions of, of, of Swan Lake, but this kind of version we have never seen before. How, do, how did you end up doing this? Um, actually, this, is, uh, this was our uh, target, um, to do something different. Like, we try to do, like, now a couple of seasons. Um, for us, it was really important not to be funny again, like the last season. Um, this is, uh, actually, this is, the music is from a, a Swedish company. Um, we saw them in Munich and they called Swan Lake Reloaded. It's like street dance and uh, art and um, all the music is from there and it's so cool because it's modern but you can hear still the, the classical uh, Swan Lake inside and actually we're really happy that uh, he found the music, Mr. Lambia. <laughs> yes, but on the beginning we was a little bit afraid, it was too crazy, too, too much, I don't know. And only after, I don't know, mm, Ten minutes, we thought, oh my god, but that can be great. Yeah. Uh, I have to ask you, because you work with, with Stefan Lambiel and you get to see him often, how is he as a person? I mean, we all know him as a great skater and as a real artist on ice, but what, what is he like on the ice with you? He is nice. Uh, he is a really nice, nice guy. And uh, actually, now he grown up, so uh, he calmed down a little bit. And... Um, he is like he is on the ice. He is really, really uh, open-hearted and open-minded, and uh, it's really, really nice to just be with him. Yeah, he's so I don't know. It's so easy with him, funny, and he's really, really open. Yeah, open like you, yeah. I don't know. It was always great with him on the ice, out of the ice, always. Uh, your style is very unique and people have strong reactions to your skating. It takes a lot of courage to be different. Where do you get this courage from? Uh, good question, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, as you said, it's always uh, or the people like it or they don't. So there, there's no between, so or black or white. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes not. <laughs> and you know, uh, in figure skating, it's always a problem because, uh, yeah, there are people outside who are like uh, decide if they like it or not. Um, for us, um, for us, we I don't know when we decided it, but uh, we are not the uh, not the strongest skaters, like uh, technical. We know that, and uh, f for us, it's more important to make a good show. But of course, we try to uh, put all the requested elements and all the really like uh, things we have to do inside and try to make a nice package that it looks good. <laughs> and how did it go today? You had a bad fall. Yeah. Why, why was that? Why it was? I don't know. Just stupid. You know, there sometimes just happens. And of course, uh, in ice dancing, it's not good because um, it destroys the whole program. And also it was inside the circle step sequence, like in a required element. So we lost a lot of points today, I think. You said that it destroyed the, destroys the whole program, program. Did you get back to the feeling at all during the rest of the show? Yeah. Yes. I think yes. But if you like an audience for the audience, if you see like one program, you don't like to have a fall inside, right? So for us as skaters, I think it's of course it's a big problem. But you go on and you do your stuff like you do every day because you're doing that every day. But uh, as an audience and as as a um, as a judge, it's 
it's not good because you have like a four minute program and there's this little really strange thing going on inside. So yeah, for us, I think it's even easier to handle it than for the audience watching. Uh, some people call you artists on ice. Do you think you are rewarded for your artistry? First of all, thank you that somebody says something yeah. like this. <laughs> it's already good, I think. Um, We're working what? hard on it. <laughs> uh, we're working hard on it. I mean, the last programs, they were funny and uh, there were a lot of like face acting, li things like that. And it worked really well uh, with the big cameras. We, we, we know that, we, we, we make it specially because we know where the cameras are and we l like to play with that, with the audience. Um, this year we tried something different. I think it's more like a competition program, but different. And of course, actually, this is our target to to hear things like that because uh, we know that we are not like so close to the medals. I mean, we are close to the medals, but not there, really there. So for us, it's more to have the the, um, the feedback of the of the of the audience. This is important for us. I think we three here and of course the, the people watching this pro program, we all think that uh, skating is a fantastic sport. But what gives you the greatest pleasure in skating? Hard, qu hard question, I see. Hard question. Um. The greatest pleasure. Why do you keep on doing it? Um, I think there's... Okay, I... We are doing different things uh, besides, so we are in the army for example and uh, there's like a different world going on out there, not, comp not nothing to do with figure skating, but um, to get this great feeling, we just it's like a drug, right, in front of, uh, before the competition when you start to get nervous and you feel all the adrenaline and then the, if you had a good skate after the audience are clapping, you cannot buy that. So I think for me this is this is why I'm doing that. Why we are practicing every day just for the couple of seconds out there where the people are like just clapping for you. I think that's the point. I, I think we all understand what you are talking about when it comes to skating. But when, when it comes to the army, uh, I think it's a bigger question or a question mark for us. Why why do you why are you in the army, both of you? Um, why? Because uh, actually in Germany this is the only way to um, for uh, sports not uh, not uh, with uh, having to do something with football or soccer. This is the only way to to get um, professional in, in Germany. Um, we are like paid from the army. We have the the ranks. We have to do the um, the service there. And uh, there are a lot of sportsmen. And actually this is the biggest sponsor in Germany, the army. Well, do you have to use guns? Yeah. We also have to use guns and we have to put dirt in our face and have to go through the forest and things like that. Yeah, yeah, all this stuff. She did it the you first too. time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so sometimes it's really funny. I mean, it, this is sometimes very hard, but also very interesting. Sometimes it's new things. You are completely out from figure skating and I think it's, sometimes it's really cool. Can I ask you, which one is harder, being in the army or being a figure skater? different thing you you cannot say what is harder both is difficult I mean, you cannot compare it and of course uh, to be a soldier and uh, to be somewhere outside where people like shooting on you this is of course a different world so um, they handle us with care you know with the sportsmen they want to keep us working on the ice not in the forest but we have to do it so you cannot compare it really well well, one should hope so, hope so that, that, that they don't send you somewhere where people shoot at you, especially this season, because we want to see your swan leg again. I thank you very much for this interview and I wish you all the best for, for this season and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. And I'll see you later with men's, men's, uh, after the men's competition with some of the best skaters uh, in this competition from the men's section. See you later. Thank you.